All right, here we go. Look at this. So in this video today, I've got the Waka Kayak Billy Gun. On water top review. I'm gonna move this bulkhead. And big shout out to, to my buddy Matt Wylan that loaned me. This is his personal boat. He loaned me this. And he has a YouTube channel also. If you guys wanna go check out his channel, he comes in around about a buck 30. So he can give you more like a lighter person's review of this. Right now I'm around about 175, 180. And Waka recommends up to 110 to 200 on their weight ranges. So I'm within the weight range. I'm on the heavy side of the weight range and I'll let you guys know how this thing handles on the heavy side. But I like the boat. It looks good. It looks good. It looks a little small for me. This is what I'd consider a, a small medium. Pretty much the goat. It's pretty much the goat style haul, but with more volume. The hip pads felt decent. Oh yeah, that feels good. Nice cockpit size. Man, that one was nice. <laughs> Look at that. It doesn't feel small on me fit, sitting in it. It doesn't feel small, but it feels smaller. Okay. Look at that bow. <laughs> one thing you guys can watch for. Just like that walk of style. Now, traditionally, I was talking with a friend of mine and we were talking about traditionally walkers run wide. It's crazy because walk is actually a little opposite on this one. So this one is um, a little more narrow. It feels quick. This thing feels quick. It feels faster than the Steez. I think the, the length is like eight foot eight on it. So it's not a crazy long boat. It hung up a little bit there on me. It's a little hard to disengage. Okay, I feel that little back edge grab right behind the hip. Woo! Woo! That was like landing on pillows. Well, I can tell you also, this is where this landing model excels too. There's some deep water moves out here now. Maybe a 720 if you're good enough. Apparently I'm not good enough. I like that boat. It's nice, it's sporty. Is so weird. It's it. I can feel it back there. It grabs a little bit right here. Yeah. Exactly what happened on the goat. It wants to load right there. <laughs> okay, there it is. It's is that an interesting shirt. There it is. I found it. You want to lean back. It definitely feels a little more narrow than like the Steez or the OT. This paddle's a lot like a uh, goat.
This one's a little stouter. Yeah! Go for the Yeti over there again? Yeah. You're in a scorch. You should be able to hit it with no problem. That damn back edge will get you. So, that has a tendency to load right here in this boat. I just leaned over a little bit. I was done. Very similar. I would not own both, well, personally. The, the hull is the same. Yeah, it paddles just like the goat. I mean, it, they, they paddle. Still, it had the same issue yeah, that the goat does. Yeah, I wondered if the Dude, it got the me a couple closer. times out there. Okay. Almost like I want to be, I need my shoulders more here. I, I went to peel out a few times and BAM! I mean, I just yeah. went over. It was yeah. wild. Yeah. Have you paddled an OG? Does it do it yeah. too? No, not the LG. No, mm -mm. The OG. OG's super wide and it's high back there. They yeah. didn't make those handholds that small. Rocker's pretty similar. Look at that. I think in one of the I've heard from pretty much everyone that's paddled one, they, they all. Agree. The rail is more defined on the stern. Like it tapers out here. It looks like a bottle. Yeah, that's such a that's just a goat hull. Oh yeah, literally. To a T. I don't have my compare with one of the sketchiest shuttles <laughs> I've had in a while. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? <laughs> yeah. We made it. I've got the toe hold here. I've got the toe hold and the Johnny clamp. We've got it. We did it! Woo! <laughs> Walk up, bro. These are solid. So I tried to go down, and they were a little flexible, but these feel pretty solid. This is lap number two in it. I made some slight adjustments in the hip pads, but a little tighter in it, but it feels great. As far as sizing, I feel like I fit. A little bit of a stern tap. It's like it's got this down tilt in the stern, and you can feel it grab a little bit. There it was. go better yeah yeah it's, it's almost like when I was piling the goat I could be back here more this almost makes me want to be up here yeah because it it loads and then I have to kind of like get it out yeah. it wants, I mean given I am heavy for the boat yeah. you know but the weight limit's 110 to 200 and yeah. I'm 180 so it's like I'm 20 pounds under walkers recommended right. yeah I just like when I load the mine I just pry away from it I know it's the goat was nowhere near as grabby right here. Man, if I, if I give it right here, I'm like, <laughs> yeah. Give it if I was maybe 25 pounds lighter, it might not be as bad.
right, everybody, closing thoughts on the Waka Billy Goat. Final thoughts on this thing. Wow, uh, the hull and the performance handles exactly like I thought it would. That bow is beautiful for coming out of things. It's definitely a smaller boat, so you could tell it's a small medium. I consider this a medium. It's caught in that weird area where it, it fits me nicely. I think if I was about 15 pounds lighter, I would take this boat, but the way it is, I would almost rather have a goat than a billy goat at this point. I feel like the billy goat has volume back here that catches, and it's hard to disengage this volume at times where I felt the goat didn't do that. The goat would, I could tilt that edge a little bit or stern pry and kind of come out of it. But when this loads over here like this, I, I, I go to a stern pry, but you have to turn it into more like a brace and try to get your weight back forward. This boat caters to people that paddle upright and aggressively forward. You could tell that by the way they get this cut out. Great boat, it's got a learning curve on it. This is not a beginner friendly boat, I could tell you that. Not that I'm a beginner, but I can tell that a boat's catered to that, that intermediate to advanced to expert style paddler and that's exactly what Walk is going after with this boat. This hull design and this boat and this volume distribution caters towards that aggressive grabbing water up here and pulling hard and then pull weight back and back forward really nicely and get up you get your get your shoulders up ahead of your your hips to come out of things you do have to change your style a little bit when you paddle this it never had a tendency to go up and over so if you're going up and over in the goat maybe get a billy goat it's more narrow to me it's fast and I don't think it's as fast as the Goat, but it's pretty damn fast. I felt I could hang in there with, you know, those guys were in rippers and scorches, and I felt pretty good. Like, the speed stayed pretty good on it. What else? Comfortable. This thing is comfortable. Um, I, I'm fitting in it comfortable. I'm probably four or five spaces back on the bulkhead, so I still have room to go. Knee area. My knees are hitting about right here, and it feels good. You can see about where my knee is right here. I feel that someone taller than me can go in there and I'm right at about 5'10", 175, 180, and the boat feels great. I, me personally, I would prefer a goat over a billy goat, but that's more my personal style of being able to river run those half slices better. This right here fits those people that don't want to be as spicy as the billy goat because it will go up and over. I have paddled that. Check out my review on the billy goat. You guys, I'll leave a link at the end of this view. At the, I'll leave a link at the end of this video for the Billy Goat or the Goat. Billy Goat, the Goat. Jeez. The BG and G. But yeah, but yeah, guys. Um, overall, the boat's nice. Feels good. Nicely outfitted. Very comfortable paddling. Has a comfortable feel to it. Very smooth. Tracks well. It just tracks very well. The only little hang up is, like I mentioned, is a little bit of grabbiness back there. But to overcome that, you guys get up here and try to be aggressively forward. And honestly, I feel like I'm right on the upper weight. The 200 will be pushing in this boat. I think 185 is about limit on this boat. I wouldn't. I can't see a 200 pounder in it. So if you're like. If you're like 150 and you want to boat for gear, this might be for you. Thanks a lot, guys. Thanks for watching. That's all I got on the Billy Goat. So, yeah.